Hello, Anime Nyan here. Let me be clear, I hate laugh tracks. Recently, my older brother started watching a certain comedy series, which means by default, I too have started watching it. However, as, as I started watching, I began to identify an aspect of the show which I disliked, which was, of course, the laugh tracks. And look, I'm sure it isn't the series' fault. The show is rather decent, although I myself don't enjoy the humour. The thing that irritates me the most is the laugh tracks. They make me feel manipulated, as if they're slamming my head into the ground and saying, you should feel this way. The execution is also far from subtle and makes me question whether I'm laughing because I actually enjoy the content or because I'm succumbing to some kind of peer pressure and laughing at something I don't find particularly amusing. And I get it. I get the underlying premise. To make you feel comfortable laughing at something with others. But to me, all it feels like it is, is just sinister manipulation. After all, I feel like a show should be judged on its merits. And it shouldn't be funny because someone else laughed at it, especially if they were paid to do so. But you see, I want to take a little bit more of an impartial view, as biased and prejudiced as I am. So I did some research on why people use laugh tracks, and I started to see a common theme around arguments for laugh tracks. In the end, what I think their arguments boil down to is number one, laugh tracks are meant to simulate a play's atmosphere. Number two, the laugh tracks are real and organic. And number three, this is the way they've always done it. So the first argument, laugh tracks historically are meant to simulate a play's atmosphere. Let's dissect this argument. In response to this argument, I would say, well, you didn't make that atmosphere. You see, atmosphere is something you have to earn. A play does this by interacting with its audience, by making great jokes, meticulously staged phrasing, a carefully planned inflection, and masterful acting. All these things which take years of experience, thought, and planning to master. Now my question is, what did you do by using a laugh track? Pay some people to laugh live at your show, which biases them to laugh at anything, giving them cues when to laugh, and adding in recorded laughter that wasn't to your joke. Did you earn that atmosphere in any way? At which point were you interacting with your audience to create that atmosphere? Because every one of the last, those last things I just mentioned were disconnected from your audience watching on their screen at home. I think what it boils down to is that shows should be judge, judged on merit because I'm not going to laugh just because you told me to. I'm going to laugh because I really sympathized with the characters you made, the way you portrayed the awkwardness of real life and the peculiar behavior of humans, not because someone else laughed. Now, the second argument is that it's always been done this way before. And I'm not really sure I need to dismantle this argument because it's just not stru structurally sound. How things have always been done is not always the best way to do it. For example, we used to drink unsanitary water from which we contracted many waterborne diseases and parasites, and it was the way that we always did it. So is it right? Now, the final argument is that laugh tracks are real and organic, by which they mean are recorded from a live studio audience. And that's true. Except that, first of all, their audience is biased to laugh and react artificially, even if they are not entertained by what's going on, because they are paid to promote the show in a positive light. 
Number two, second, is that the audience is given cues when to laugh, to emphasize a joke. So in that way, the laughs are also unnatural. And number three, a large portion of laugh tracks is recorded laughter, which is actually against the idea of comedy as a whole. You see, the idea of comedy is to organically generate laughter and enjoyment from the audience. To laugh because they highlight a nonsensical part of human nature and to examine the human psyche. Again, not because someone else told you to laugh or to earn the approval of others, especially those with a higher social status. Look, I love humor. I love how it analyzes societal issues and brings joy into our everyday lives. Which is why I think we can overcome this to build something better and to be more entertaining. Thank you everyone for being here for this really small episode and I hope you enjoyed. If you, don't, if you didn't really agree with me, so please tell me in the comments what you didn't agree with and I look forward to discussing it with you. So thank you very much for being here and see you. Anime Nyan out.